I don't make a habit of taking my pants off in public. In fact, discovering I'm naked in public is pretty much the stuff of my nightmares. But I have done it. I was in the Congo at the time it was Zaire, and it was going to be a long, hot, bumpy day of driving. So I said to my traveling companions, I'm just going to walk ahead on the road, enjoy the coolness of the morning before the drive. Walking along, I notice a small village just as I hear the truck coming up behind me. Perfect timing. I'll just step off the road and wait outside this village for the truck to pick me up. So there I was at this village, a bit of a curiosity to be sure, but they all smiled and waved. The truck was now only a few feet away. The driver waved at me as well, and that's when I suddenly felt a very sharp pain in my ankle. And then I felt another bite and another. Suddenly, it was like my legs were on fire. I look down and I realize that I am standing in a line of ants. We're talking about those big black ones, you know, with the pincers. And they were now making their way up my legs. I was in pain and panicking. I jumped off the ant line but was still being bitten. Swatting at them wasn't doing anything, which is when I realized the ants were inside my pants. So what else could I do? Without an ounce of grace, I pull my pants off as fast as I can and I start shaking them violently. Everyone in the village and in the truck must have thought I was crazy. I'm standing there half naked in the middle of the jungle, waving my pants around. Now, that was embarrassing, but necessary. I sometimes tell this story to the female entrepreneurs I work with who tell me that they're too embarrassed to put themselves out there on video. And while the circumstances are extremely different, the analogy is valid. You can risk embarrassment or you can choose not to solve your problem. Now, like I said, I tell that story to the female entrepreneurs that I work with to illustrate that embarrassment is relative. But today I'm sharing it with you to show you the power of including a story in your videos. Not only do stories help you explain a concept or bring an idea to life, they're also an amazing learning tool because they help people remember the information that you're sharing. Storytelling is so powerful because it engages the brain in a different way than the brain gets engaged when it's just taking in facts or information. Think about it. If I'd started my video telling you about the power of storytelling instead of demonstrating it, you'd probably forget about this video right away. But now, well, maybe you already have a vision of me dancing around with the ants in my pants burned into your brain. And stories aren't just good for recall, they're also effective in building the know, like, and trust factor with your audience. Stories help your audience get to know you. I'm guessing you know a few more things about me now than you did before this video. So, effective and memorable. That is the power of storytelling. If you want to use storytelling to make your video stronger, you need to understand the different types of stories that are available to you, which type to use and when, how to inject them seamlessly into your videos, and how to create context between your story and your message. And that's exactly what I cover in my three-hour workshop, Supercharge Your Videos with Storytelling. Want to join me? I put the registration link in the description, so click it to grab your spot. And when you do, you'll also get my story styles guide and 20 story prompts to help you mine your memories for stories. Let's make your videos more memorable and effective. Click the link, register, and I'll see you there.